Hey YouTube losers, Lepi Gecky here. Okay, um, so basically I'm going to be doing this thing, it's called Creepypasta Fridays. Ignore the background noise, it's very noisy at the moment because of all the flooding and stuff, people are just staying indoors mostly. So there's a lot of video game playing along. Um, so I'm going to be doing these things called Creepypasta Fridays or Thursdays, depending on when I can upload. Um, and, okay, this uh, video I'm going to explain what a creepypasta is. Um, so, uh, the term pasta was used to define, um, a story or an idea or something, a concept of a character, uh, via, like, emailing, messaging, all that kind of stuff, and they would send that along, and that was given the term pasta. Don't even question why, but it was. Um, so, and then people started showing us scary stories, as you do. And eventually somebody realised there were a lot of these scary stories around of, say, Jeff the Killer, Isles Jack, Smile Dog, Slenderman. Um, you will find about, find out about, uh, find out who those people are, by the way. Don't worry. Um, so those were, uh, the, so somebody basically labelled them creepypasta. And um, many people uh, know about creepypastas and... Um, oh, and also, creepypasta is um, are not people who work, who believe in pastafarianism. And if you don't know what pastafarianism is, if I've pronounced it correctly, it's uh, a religion where they pray to a giant bowl of spaghetti. True, it's true. Don't worry, it, that that's actually true. They pray to a giant bowl of spaghetti with meatballs. Don't question it. <laughs> Um, so yes, um, creepypasta, uh, uh, let me explain what I'm going to be doing, so now that you know what creepypasta is, each, either Friday or Thursday, depending on what can, what happens, I will upload a video, hopefully, um, on a different creepypasta, and, uh, giving a different, like, not opinion, but different sharing the different stories of them um from my personal view of them so for example there is the idea that the character the slenderman which most of you who are watching this video will probably know from the game slender anyway slender came out after the creepypasta just to clarify but many people believe that slenderman rapes people and in my view he doesn't but in my view, he doesn't, um, mainly because uh, it's just, I just find it too weird to comprehend, so, and seeing as he has tentacles, it's even weirder. So, um, I prefer to think of it as he doesn't rape them. And there are many different views on how different crew passes act and things, and I'm going to be showing my opinion. My personal opinion so don't keep saying oh no that person doesn't do this they do this i mean facts yes yeah, such as um tiki toby has one orange hatchet he doesn't have two brown hatchets um or jeff the killer doesn't kill with shopping utensils he kills with a knife i don't even know what shopping utensils are okay Let's clear our minds of what we've just been discussing. So yes, I shall be talking about that. Please do not say anything about the fact that it's my opinion. That it's my view on what this is because this is the only view I've ever heard of them, to be fair. So yes, please do tune in, in a way, uh, next week when I'll be talking about Jeff the Killer. <laughs> Brilliant way to start it off. Creepypastas. First one you talk about. The one with killer in the name. Okay. I shall see you lizards next week. 